Bangor in the house, back with another Bangor video with ladies and gentlemen, burning Arsenal news for you. Well, if you still haven't subscribed, go hit that subscribe button because we are actually nearing to reach 1500 subscribers on this platform and we need to actually blow up this channel, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, help us reach more subscribers. Tell your friends that they have to go and subscribe to the only news portal from Arsenal, actually uh, of Arsenal. Uh, and actually, I'm uh, trying to do this for all the Arsenal fans that they get. This be, becomes the one-stop shop for many of the Arsenal news that is actually running around. The first news that's coming our way, Real Madrid president Florentino Perez has reportedly contacted Arsenal to try to complete the permanent transfer of midfielder Dani Ceballos. The Spanish international is on loan at the Emirates this season and has had some good moments, though it's been a poor season for Arsenal overall. Well, the next news that's coming our way, biggest of them all, Premier League are... Actually, the Premier League are losing the battle to prevent a behemoth. New European Super League being proposed by the continent's top clubs. Well, hear out what, what is actually it's going to be looking like. I mean, latest plans set out a 10-match group stage in the 32-team league in a blueprint late to the European Club Association. Well, the ECA have rejected the idea of, of four groups of eight teams and now want to go for one big league instead with the top eight qualifying for a knockout stage automatically. The next 16 teams would then have to jump into a playoff with eight progressing to the next round. Premier League bosses would see a new European Super League as a massive threat to their nine billion pound cash cow. I, I, I think, yes, that could be the only problem. But moving on, well... Arsenal and Manchester United are keeping tabs on 42 million pound rated Parma star Dejan Kulusevski. Well, he's good, but I think uh, the big, he, he has certain issues in, the, in, the, in that position. But actually, he was available for just 8.5 million pounds last summer before he was sent out to loan on loan from the campaign. Well, there are many people who are actually scouting him. Well, not only Arsenal, but Manchester United also. So the 19-year-old, I've already met clubs over a transfer before the Euro, Euros next summer so let's see if he's going to make it or not but moving on socrates has warned that suffering arsenal are ready to explode against manchester city on sunday he said we need one good game at our home to explode and i hope that will come on sunday against manchester city we have the quality but that's not what this game will be about to show that quality first of all you have to do the dirty work we have to run all together fight to win the duels be tactically organized play at pace and try to help each other. Intensity is the most important thing in football and if you do the dirty work and you're organized, you can do a lot of things. The manager is trying to explain what he expects from, uh, from us and he has given a lot of hard work and attention to our organization. The team who can best use their organization will win on Sunday. If we all press together and work for 90 minutes, then we can find our best quality. Well, Everton and Arsenal will not have to pay compensation for Carlo Ancelotti following his sacking from Napoli. Well, the Italian tactician is a reported target for the Premier League duo and we all know that he will be able to join for absolutely nothing after having his Napoli contract terminated by Aurelio De Lor uh, uh, Crap, I just keep forgetting his name. Aurelio De Laurinaitis earlier this week. Well, Pep Guardiola made a claim over Freddie Junberg and, Ars and Unai Emery that should worry Arsenal fans. He said, he was the games with Unai and the games with Freddie and try to figure out what they will do against us. Arsenal have a typical style of play. They have the quality between the lines with Mesut and Lacazette. It was a position of, after Emery's situation. He's a person who stayed a, a, a long time at Arsenal. He knows the feelings of the club and the fans, how they like to play. Well, they, uh, that means that uh, City have actually uh, recorded all the footage and now they're going to use that against Arsenal. Let's see who's going to win. I think it's a good. it would be a good contest. Arsenal can come. I still have hopes because the way things are going with City, I think they can drop. At least two points. But moving on, Santi Cazorla makes big ass in the claim over his Arsenal exit. Well, Santi says, well, first of all, happy birthday, Santi Cazorla. Thank you so much for uh, being uh, a gem for us wherever, whenever you uh, you know uh, kept your foot on the pitch for us. But here's what he said: If Arsene had stayed, maybe I would have stayed at Arsenal for one more year. But there were a lot of changes that year: a new coach, new people working in the club. So I understood the possibility that I might have to leave. Well, we all know he had his issues with rehab, his rehabilitation with his ankle being infected as he spent the last 18 months of his time at the club on the sidelines before his departure at his contract. He further added, it was a little bit frustrating for me not to play for Arsenal again because I love that club. I loved playing at the Emirates, so it was hard to say goodbye without playing there. Just before the Europa League semi-final against Atletico, I called Arsene and said, boss, can I train at the Emirates just before the game? The first thing he said was, 
you can play i said no i can't play only training my friend i need to train here at the emirates just for one day i need to feel the stadium again well these were the news of the day i hope you enjoyed whatever came your way all the views and news and everything about arsenal comes on this platform every single day yes every single day twice so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon well it's pretty much simple this platform is mainly for the arsenal fans but if you're not an arsenal fan but you're seeking daily arsenal news on a one stop shop this is the best place to be subscribe and hit that bell icon if this video comes on as recommended for you obviously it's recommended because it has quality so i will see you in my next video until then cheers